Thank you guys so much for coming today. Thank you, Pat, Sharon, Patrick, Robbins, uh, Todd, and uh, of course my family. My father's in the audience as well. So I want to thank you all for coming and welcome you to Paradise. Um, you know, we've been open here for about 15 months now, and um, we've had a great time. We've uh, met a lot of great faces, a lot of great people. Um, you know, had a few too many glasses of wine. But, um, you know, that's what it's really all about. I look around um, and see so many familiar faces in the audience. Um, and the people that we've met and the people that have come here and become a part of our family. Um, you guys are family. And this is family for us. Um, the wine industry has become our family. And I just want to thank you all for the support and the love that you've shown us um, and the strength uh, to give us to, you know, to get through um, everything that we've been through. Um, it's had its highs of the highs and its lows of the lows. Um, you know, from winning the Virginia Governor's Cup, um, you know, to being in court. And, uh, you know, we've experienced it all. So uh, this building is, uh, you know, a product of, uh, of many people coming together, many minds. Um, I want to thank uh, Chris Pierman and, uh, you know, for all his support in uh, mentoring us and showing us the way in this industry. And I um, and also want to thank Jerry and Perry of Foursquare Enterprises and uh, Craftsman Construction. Um, they were the lead charge on this building, and uh, they've done, a, you know, a heck of a job. Um, I can't wait to show everything to you guys. Um, what else we got here? Um, you know, thinking back today on what we were going to say and um, what I was going to say what I was up to, you know, I don't want to re you know, reiterate on the story. Um, you guys all know the story of what we've been through. Um, but I just really wanted to say thanks to you guys. Um, and, and looking back on, on a day like today, you know, you never forget the people that help you get where you get. Um, and you guys are the faces that 20 years from now, 30 years from now, we'll always remember. Um, and I want to say thank you to you guys. Um, you know, a, a person I actually want to uh, take the time to rep, you know, I guess to, to point out here, um, a guy by the name of Randy Christian. Um, he was a guy who lived in the neighborhood across the street who, uh, you know, stood up for us. He stood up for the little guy um, in the face of adversity. And, uh, you know, he passed away shortly after we got our ABC license. And, um, and today when you walk in and you'll see a single barrel in the barrel room, um, that barrel is dedicated to him and we'll uh, have a memorial plaque on there um, and will always be in our barrel room. And it's a symbol of sticking up for the little guy and, you know, putting your neck out on the line and helping those um, when you really don't have to. And um, he's a symbol uh, and a model for all of us that we should follow and um, you'll remember for always. Um, I want to thank, you know, our former mayor, Tom Peterson, um, for enduring that court case sat for nine hours with us, and he didn't have to do that. Um, I want to thank our neighbor, Danny Aldisu, um, who's been over here um, every week, really, and been a, such a great support for us. Um, thank you. Um, I want to thank John Marshall Bank. Um, it is not Security One Bank. It is John Marshall Bank. Um, I got that wrong at the last ribbon cutting because they changed their name. But thank you guys so much. Um, without the help of you guys and Bill Rittenauer um, and Dan Lieber, we wouldn't you know, have the means to be able to get this done. And um, I think you guys would be proud of what we've done. A um, little bit about the building. Um, the building is two levels. Um, when you walk in here, this will become our main taste here. Our biggest problem, if you will, here was space. We saw success in winning the Governor's Cup and saw success in opening a winery so close to the city that we need space to accommodate people. Um, people found in cold weather and inclement weather, um, there wasn't room to, to sit down and enjoy a glass of wine. Or we didn't have the room to spread out and, and do an educational class in the middle of the day. Um, our whole private tastings. Uh, you know, our wine dinners were limited to 15, 16 people. Um, and so our biggest, you know, concern was space. And in designing this building, we, uh, we've designed a new tasting bar and a new tasting room, and this will become the principal use um, on the top floor here. Um, the cabin will go back to being more of a private uh, residence, but it will be used for, uh, you know, a more of a reserve-style upscale tasting to sit down with a winemaker, do a food and wine pairing, um, and we'll have a little bit of a higher-end experience. Um, which I think will complement um, some people's needs very nicely. Um, when you walk in, the barrel room actually sits off to the left uh, behind a glass wall. And in, in designing the building, we wanted to put the, the winemaking process, you know, steps away from the people. We wanted people to come in and taste wines 20 yards away um, from where they were aged for up to two years. And, and that connection between the people, between the wine, between the land, between the building is really what this place is about, um, and, and there's a sense of magic with it that, that when you make that connection, um, you understand why um, you know, we opened this business and are doing what we're doing. Um, downstairs is production, so the level, you know, it's two levels, um, the take room and production along the back. Um, there's a back patio, which the crush pad will be housed underneath, um, and 
that's where we will uh, make all the wine. So um, we're going to give tours and show you guys around, and I don't want to talk too long. I want to get you guys in and see everything here. Um, you know, I just want to speak a little bit about, um, you know, Virginia wine, the direction of the industry. Um, we have probably five to ten other winery owners here today, um, and that's where we are as an industry, is we are trying to grow the floor together. And by continued, you know, working together, by continuing to help each other out in time of need, um, we're only going to make this industry uh, better and better, and, and we'll grow it together. Um, it's not about growing a single business, but it's about growing the industry. Um, and uh, we're very excited about that. The future of what holds here. Um, we're going to be able to do more wine dinners, more education classes, show the process of how you make wine. Um, next year, we hope to plant another vineyard in this field, um, now that we have some more parking on the back side of the property. Um, and in the future, you know, we still have some land in Clifton here. Who knows? Maybe we can plant some more grapes. Um, and uh, just continue that commitment to agriculture, because that is what this business is all about. Um, this is a farm, and first and foremost, and it's, it's a lot of hard work. Um, it's not just romantic. Um, I want to thank my family. Um, I want to thank everyone who came today. Um, I want to thank uh, my grandmother, Mary Kitchlow, um, and uh, Gordon Kitchlow and Esther Podolnik, who are resting up in heaven. Um, thank you for the inspiration and all you've done. And, um, Let's go in and drink some wine. So thank you guys for coming. Appreciate it.